In real life, I'm a graphic designer, but today I'm gonna make my own glasses. Hello, and as always, welcome to the Laramie K Optician Works Training Center, where today we have a special moment, our first guest ever. Lee asked if I could make him a pair of glasses. And I said, sure. And then he said, well, can I watch how those are made? And I said, no, you can make them yourself. So that is what we're gonna do today. So you are, we're gonna try. Oh well, no, we're gonna do it. Okay. Very good. good. All right, these are your glasses. We've got a right plus 275, minus 50 at 130. I'll get this set up and then I'll hand it off to you. Okay. Set my lens meter to plus 275. That looks good. All right, there are three dots are on here. That mm -hmm. center one is the lens OC. That's what we're gonna put in front of your pupil, directly in front of your pupil. These two outer marks just keep the lens oriented in the right position through the rest of the process. Okay. You should put a big R on top of there with your grease pencil and set it in the tray. Thank you. And I'll get this one set up, which is a plus 325. Yep. All right, have a big L on top of that one. Set it in the tray. And then we're on to the next phase. Yep. All right, go ahead, grab that frame. Perfect. And we're gonna lift that back, good. Yep, right in there, perfect. Now I'm gonna go ahead and hit that big button in the middle. And go ahead and we can pull that out. Nice. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that lens and we've got the three dots there. And what we're gonna do is try to place that center red dot right there when we put the lens up here. So go ahead and set the lens on those three black posts. And then looking here, try to line this perfect. Yeah, oh, that's it, beautiful. Perfect, lift up on that and let it down. Okay, good. Now, this is a block, we're gonna load this. That little notch always goes up. I'll do the first one, you can do the second one. Grab that from that little tab there. Nice and smooth. Put that on there, peel it back, hold it from the edge. You see the notch again? Mm -hmm. You see this little dot right here? Yes. That has to go where the notch is, so it goes all the way up and in there. See if you can see how that feels and do that. Feels good? Yep. All right, bring this over. And then push it all the way down and firm. Little little push, yep, good, let it go. Bring that back over. Lift this back up all the way and let's take that lens out. Let's do that again. I'll get your block for you. If you wanna go ahead and get that lined up. They're a little slippery. They are indeed. Good AR coat. All right, and then let that down. Perfect, all right. And then here's your block. Give you that and so remember notch to the to the, left. to the little little dot there. Good. That feels pretty good. Bring that over, push it down, steady pressure, let it go. Okay, bring that out of the way, bring this back up, and the left is good. Beautiful. All right, so we got two lenses ready to be blocked. Now they can be held in the edger so they'll be in the right place as we go along. All right, now we have to tell the edger two things. Mm -hmm. One, we have to tell it about the lenses, and we have to tell it about you. Okay. Right? So the first thing up here, we have our frame PD, that's this, and it knows everything about that now because we did the trace. Next, we're gonna have to do your pupillary distance, right? And we're gonna, you are come up at 27, because we're doing an intermediate for you, enter. And 28, because so your one eye is a little bit more over than the other. Okay. We won't make fun of you or anything, I swear. Okay, so we got 27 and 28. This one is horizontal movement. Um, we can check that actually. Why don't we do that? Why don't you put those on for me for a second? Take a peek at you. Looking right straight at me. 
you are about as dead center as can be, and you're gonna be looking down a little bit on the office stuff anyway, so that's, you're just, you know, you're gonna be fine. Okay, this back. Uh, size we're not gonna do anything with, and these things um, we're good on. All right, soft uh, means that it's a, a special cycle in here that we would use because of the non-glare coating so it doesn't slip. This is your lens choice. These are high index lenses, so we would hit high index. You have your choices of a multifocal, like the old line to bifocal, or a progressive lens, like your other pair, but we're doing single. What kind of frame? Is this a metal frame or a plastic frame? It's a plastic frame. And we'll put a safety bevel on there for you as well. So now it knows you, and now it knows all the things it needs to know about the lens and the frame in order to cut these right, right? So, all right, so now we have told this, everything that needs to know about you and about the frame and about the lens. Now I hit data entry and that brings everything from here to the editor itself. Now we're ready to actually cut the lens. So I'll do this, we're gonna bring this over and you load it right like this. And if you come around here, you can see how that fits all together just perfect. Yes. yes. All right, once you have it in place like that, just make sure you don't get your finger in there. That's about 50 pounds coming over. So you just make sure you're holding it from the edge or you just let it go if it stay in there where you need it to. And then we would just hit the start button. So I'll let you do that and take it from there. Side up. Yep, and the perfect, yeah, that notch again, that yes. notch is set up for going up. It's like that, good. All right, and you can hit the start button and it'll do everything for you. It'll come across with the chuck, it'll close the door, and it'll start cutting. Okay, what it's doing right now is making sure that there's actually enough lens there to fit the frame. Okay. Right, so if your PD was really narrow or the frame was really big, if you get a finished lens like this out of a bag instead of having it cut at a lab, sometimes they're not big enough. This tells you before you go and ruin a lens for no reason. And that's good to go. And if you look in here now, you can see exactly what's gonna happen. It is literally grinding away the material. First, it rough shapes it in. And so that's taken a whole lot of material off pretty quickly, which is the reason why you have the soft mode and we put that extra pad on there. Because when it first hits, it'll, it, might turn. It, it can turn. And then the other thing, the interface where we're talking about that it will use different wheels, different amounts of water, different speeds for different materials. So that's a little bit why that's important. Now the smell is normal for a high index lens. It's plastic. A little, yeah. Kind of, yeah. yeah. But only, only your higher indexes have this smell to them. We call it garlic, but no, it's a, or money. <laughs> now this one, if you look down, you can actually see the notch in the wheel. And that's putting the V into it and that V will correspond with the one that's in the frame when you pop the lenses in. <laughs> All right, okay, you're just gonna hold it like that and you're gonna hit the chuck button and take it out. Okay. Like that? Mm-hmm, perfect. Okay. Set it over in the tray you and let's get that way? left going. Yeah, you're fine. Let's get that left going while we're doing it. All right, so. Good. Okay, and now we need to hit this button here to tell it we're gonna do the left lens. This one? The one underneath oh, it, yep. Good, all right, and that looks okay. So we can hit the start button and we'll be letting that thing do its, do its thing. And we'll step over here and because it has an AR coat, we can just pop that off. This thing is a special tool to take them off, okay. but we probably don't need to worry about that. That's trash. I'll, I'll pop the right one in for you and then you can do the left one. Okay. Uh, this is a nice brand new frame. It's nice and soft, it's fresh. There's no reason to heat the frame. Why risk the damage or chances of that? Um, you know, these lenses have a little flexibility. I think we can probably just get those in. Uh, obviously, right eye, right eye, right eye, right lens. And I'm gonna do this a little bit different. And do that snap, mm -hmm. that's what you're looking for, right? So what I would do is take this, I think I'd probably start with this outside edge, mm -hmm. get that in, and then kind of push here and here and see how you do, and see if you can get that snap going. From here, from mm -hmm. here. Voila! It's in. You got it. You got yeah. yourself a pair of glasses. Nice. I'm just gonna double check that the prescription is where it's supposed to be. Mm -hmm. 
All right, I think we I think we have ourselves a complete pair of glasses here, but we are going to make absolutely sure that we've got the right powers in the right place. So we've got a right lens, right lens, a plus 275 at an axis of 130. Right lens. Beautiful. Let's see what we got in here. So far, so good. That looks wonderful. All right. Left lens, left, we've got a plus 325 and an axis of 95. Oh, I like that, looks good. That looks good. All right, and these are those dots back on there that we talked about earlier. That center white dot, the lens OC, and that one should line up perfectly with the center of your pupils okay. because we took your measurement of 2830. So let's find out if that is the case. Right, left, 28 in the right, and a 30 on the left. That is beautiful. All right, I think you've got yourself a pair of glasses. I think I do. Let me clean these up, and off you go. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you very much. We shot this video for one simple reason, and that was to show you just how easy it is today to use finishing equipment like this. And no, of course Lee doesn't know everything about the lens meter, the blocker, or layout work, but you know what? If he spent some time on Laramie K Optician Works and our free in-office finishing course, he could certainly learn how. If you are interested in learning more about finishing your own lenses in-house or have staff you would like to train, please check out the free course at opticianworks.com forward slash edge. I'll see you there.